active band pass filter. Here's the circuit for the band pass filter. If we look at the input part of the circuits, we find that this is the same as the base cut filter. And the mind cells are the gain frequency characteristics. So the maximum gain of RF over R in, and we've got a break frequency, in this case using the input resistor and the input capacitor. We look at the feedback part. The feedback is the same as the treble cut filter. And again, we get a maximum gain of RF over R in. And this time, the break frequency is used in the resistor in the, uh, and the capacitor in the feedback part of the circuit. If we can combine these two characteristics, and we end up with the band pass characteristic. So we've got the break frequency from the base cut, and the break frequency from the treble cut, and the maximum gain being RF over R in. Now we're going to look at an example. So say we have this characteristic graph here. What we can work out from the graph, we can work out what the maximum gain is. And the maximum gain in this case is 3.2. On the logarithmic graph, midway between 1 and 10 is about 3.2. We've also got the, uh, the base cut filter. So the break frequency there is 10 hertz. And for the treble cut filter, the break frequency is 1000 hertz. So we've got the characteristics from here. Let's get some values. So we know that the maximum gain is given by RF over R in. So what we're going to do is rearrange this. So we've got the feedback resistor is going to be the gain times R in. So feedback resistor is going to be 3.2 times whatever R in is. And I'd always go for a nice easy value for the input resistor, something like 10K. So if we end up with the input resistor being 10K, feedback resistor being 32K. Let's look at the break, uh, the break frequency. Uh, for the base cuts and then we can work out what the input capacitor is going to be so let's rearrange this so we've got the input capacitor is going to be 1 over 2 pi rf so we're using the input resistor which is now 10k and we've got 10 hertz for the break frequency if we put these values in we'll end up with the input capacitor being 1.6 microfarads and we do the same for the treble cut filter rearrange that the feedback capacitor is going to be 1 over 2 pi r F, where we're using 32k and 1 kilohertz. If we put those values in, we should end up with 5 nanofarads.